Yo, what's up everybody? How y'all doing? We are back for today's sorty videos, which today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, at least on number one. Sorty number one is a uh, hive sniper only. So of course we, you know, we could just use anybody and shoot people with a sniper. Uh, so you can see I have my Rubico Prime equipped. I am currently rocking the Alamos sniper skin. Uh, from the Nova Deluxe bundle, which uh, I kind of like it. It looks pretty slick. Uh, right now, I am on Maze Up Prime, and we are going to be using her for our Hive mission. Point being is that the Rubico sni or sniper only portion becomes irrelevant when you can press forward to win, so to speak. Uh, any casting type frame as well, Saren, Volt, all that sort of stuff are fantastic options. Necros as well, kill a handful of people, pop shadows, let the shadows do all the work. Um, you know, no big deal, and you just gotta snipe the little bing bing bing, shoot the things for the hives. Anyway, so I just want to show you guys that skin, I think it looks pretty slick. Uh, I like the futuristic y kind of vibe with it, it definitely suits Nova. And uh, the see through, like, it has a really cool, I don't want to say Prisma, because, you know, we have actual Prisma, but the effects to it with the energy you can see right in there where the where the clip would go and up here where you know where i would presume anyway would be the uh ejector you know what i mean the the shell certainly isn't going to come out the back there that's probably where you're getting the the air the air is going out the back and the shells coming out that side there is what i what i'm figuring anyway or there are no shells, but th we know it's a Rubico, so there are. So anyway, whatever. Talking way too much about some dumb shit on ballistics and guns. So let's take a quick look at Mesa. 145 is one of your two magic numbers for Mesa. 145, 177. All right, we're going to be running my 145. I run max duration, all right? So you can see we're running tons and tons of duration and efficiency. And adaption is going to keep us alive in a combination with her two and a three just staying up for boxing ever we're basically immortal and we can kill anything in you know one shot precision velocity absolute key so they both work off of her peacemakers uh, our peacemakers obviously have no reload so arcane awakening has no effect if you did not know holster speed affects how quickly Mesa can draw her regulators to fire and how quickly she can put them away to continue doing something else. So I no longer bother with Mesa's waltz and with the changes in auras recently I've also dropped corrosive projection as a default and then I just swap it in as needed. So I've moved synth reflex in to take over for Mesa's waltz basically and that's that 100% holster speed which I'm getting everywhere plus on the regulators so that's super important and I get the reload bonus if I happen to be running synth set on a companion extra bonus so you're gonna get more of a reload and swap to speed holster another 120 or 220 percent holster speed these regulators are flying out man bang, 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 and gone right back uh, one of the things that's a little bit old-school uh, Mesa is so old school was if you know, uh, if you ran one precision, one velocity, you would run anemic agility here for the increased fire rate. If you had two, if you ran two time velocity, you would run prime heated charge. I've always won one and one with prime heated anyway. I think you guys all know my feeling on plus fire rate mi minus damage mods. If it's not the Lanka, it doesn't get it. It's pretty much that simple. So primed heated charge goes on my. Uh, regulators especially given now the added changes to the heat element itself so you have that extra armor strip coming from the heat I am gonna leave my regulators to corrosive uh, um, for now because we're going to fight infested so it's pretty irrelevant and infested are as I mentioned previously one of the few where viral can occasionally be an issue where like you get that one toxic ancient thing that's like viral <laughs> whatever dude so anyway we're just gonna leave these set to corrosive rubico prime has also been what i've been running for uh the event operation scarlet spear so we're gonna run helios prime laser rifle stat stick style same as always and codex completion so mesa prime is gonna take a little gather 
being serious my my mesa fashion she's i'm not as you guys know i'm not like a fashionista kind of mad skilled person i just click the random color button until i get something that i think is cool and then i pick armor and you know all the accessories that i like and match the colors to it so this is the the alt prime helmet the montessa and uh it's our uh, armor shoulder pieces edo prime of course is probably the best one of the best edo prime targus prime probably the two best chest pieces chest armors in the game all right anyway here we go high sniper only this is just not only is this going to be easy because we're playing mesa press four to win you can't fucking kill me it's really really hilarious to me the number of different ways it's it's almost like no matter what it is that you give my frame for skills and abilities and different ways to build them so there we go our two our three are up and those are gonna be good for the next 45 or so seconds as we know our three can easily be recast so that's never in an ideal scenario going to actually go down we are running speed holster as an aura, so that is one thing to keep conscious of. Hey, this this is just silly. We haven't even had to bother with any actually shooting things. Now we just need to actually find some hive stuff, though. Wonder where those are. Do you guys see how quickly those came out and went away? That's holster speed. Little things that you wouldn't think of normally? Because, like, so often, just by default, where the fudge is this thing? I don't even see the hive. Am I, like, on the wrong level here? What's going on? Am I just running around in circles and it's actually upstairs? And they just... Oh, <laughs> I just tried to spin melee backwards out of that, and, and yeah, because we don't have melee, dude. That's not going to work. So, and that's how fast people die. You see that? I actually clicked so fast that I didn't have time to shoot. I actually double-clicked and put them away. All right. Anyway, I, I hope you can see now that speed holster has a gigantic effect on what you can do with your regulators where the hell are these little friggin thingies this is kind of hilarious i'll just sit up here you guys you guys are stupid infested you don't know how to climb up ledges I'm a fucking ninja. Fuck you. Um, I feel like I just saw one, but like, no. Where are these damn things? Insanely frustrating. Because the if. You... All right, all you just just go away. It's just getting annoying. It's not even that it's annoying. Well, oh, there we go. How the fuck did that not hit? If any of you can explain to me how that bullet just missed, please leave a comment and explain to me how that bullet just missed. Because personally, I don't see how. That was one of those moments where I literally hit four so quickly that I don't know if we're going the right way here. Um, whoops. There we go. Again, how did that bullet miss? If anybody can tell me, you know, would love to know. Haven't even bothered putting any defense back on, which again is more than a little hilarious. Apparently we missed one. That's it. Now take out the hide. All right. Well, we're off to a terrible stack. Firstly, not only can we not find the uh, actual 
What are, what are they? Inf oh, infested tumors. Um, so that's just terrible. I was absolutely convinced that one of those was a tumor nude. But of course it was not. Oh, that is. Yeah, Juggernaut's angry. All right, what do we got down here? That's it. Oh. At least those ones I understood why I missed. You made it angry. Ow. Is the Juggernaut still alive? I didn't notice. That's gotta be the Juggernaut, right? It's funny how if I had a melee weapon right now, that guy- Oh, sorry, Helios. Would be so dead. Cause like, we've already seen that whole scenario of like, you shoot him a thousand times for two damage, two damage, two damage. And then you hit him once with a melee weapon for like 8,000. Which is more than a little hilarious. Um, it's funny in listening to. How, what? How are these? Okay, seriously? That I mean, really, really? I I just don't even I just don't even know. I mean, I've I've heard of fucked up hitboxes in shooter games before, but like, wow. <laughs> I know that that was always one of the biggest complaints we had with with every like competitive FPS. It's like your hitboxes are shit, man. A oh, fuck. One more over here. Ow! Ow! Where? Whoops! Really? Fell off the map too. I can't even see my health. I just happen to know that it was in a lot of pain. Hey, that did it! I was really curious if that would do it. <laughs> I was really curious in just comparison of damage. How uh, much damage the amp would do in compare just out of, you know, with the, the full health bar, whatever you want to call it, of uh, the... Whoop. Ow! So yeah, I was just about to say, see, so this is just how easy it is. We haven't actually been bothering to use defensive abilities. I mean, I, I haven't actually kept my three or my two active. I've just on, on occasion hit them. And we've barely gotten touched by anything. And right as I was about to say that was when that ancient punched me in the face <laughs> and knocked me down. And I was like, oh crap, can't say that now. I just took a thing to the throat. Better wait a second. But any, but literally, I mean... The only reason that that took seven minutes was that I'm fucking blind. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. And, well, we also took a little brief time out there to show just exactly what kind of a difference Speed Holster actually makes. For the record, that does not work on Ivara. I wish it did. But it does not. You can give her fucking 7,000 holster speed, and it'll still take her 12 minutes to pull that fucking bow out. I swear to god, I don't even use her damn bow. I just give her a really good bow. Um, Rock the Cernos, best bow in the game, side note. Especially with the passive uh, energy regen with Ivara. So good. Definitely not answering that. I'm busy right now. Um, actually, I'm not, because this is the end of this video. But Speed Holster on Mesa, straight OP, man. As you guys saw, I can, rather than needing to move while inside of regulators, like you'd be able to with Waltz, I just move in and out of them and then move. I mean, you're in and out so quick that you actually, like I said, I had actually hit 4 4 
before I was able to shoot. So, like, you know, you got to be careful about toggling your own stuff off you're that quick. Or don't run Speed Holster and just run Synth or vice versa, whatever. Anyway, lots of options to play around with. And again, if you want to go up a little bit in strength, go up to maybe that 177 range right around there. I forget the exact number, and it depends on the mod combo that you use, but it's around that 177 is the second sweet spot. People go, like, full strength. And once even past 145 you start to get less damage per strength point it's got it, literally definition of diminishing returns is less gain per point spent and so the more you spend the less you gain for it so there's no sense in going higher as you lose efficiency when you can add that efficiency to something else like the duration of her three and her two or the efficiency cost of her four things like that so there's trade-offs to certain things and that 177 is that second all right we hit a max damage sweet spot cap here we're not gonna get any more than this for a valid sacrifice but in my opinion 145 with a, a emphasis on your cc control survivability is the way to go highly recommended that speed holster or how holster speed in general Hope you guys are having a wonderful time so far today. I'll be back with part two shortly. And in case you have forgotten, Barrow will be here tomorrow. So don't forget to farm some junk in the process of all this Operation Spear Mayhem that's going on that everybody's playing. Don't get so caught up that you forget to get your ducats. I'll see you guys in a little bit for part two. Thanks for hanging out for part one.